Hey what's going on guys this is Kedar here and today we have a really important update on stimulus check update and check this out over 20 states are offering direct payments also one state is offering relief checks worth up to $3,200. We have got statewide stimulus check update, stimulus package that you are looking for. We have got couple of new states. So guys, before we start this video, make sure to subscribe to our channel if you haven't did already to stay updated with the latest stimulus updates. Turn on that bell notification so you won't miss any of our latest videos. And with that being said, hit that like and let's get right into it. So around 20 states across the country and city are providing relief checks worth up to $3,200 and starting with the Alaska in this June, Governor Mike Dunleavy signed a bill into a law that will see an amend $3,200 into Alaska residents' pockets and citizens will get a $650 relief payment for energy rebate as well and also $2,550 as a part of state's permanent fund dividend and will this permanent fund dividend pays an amount of the state oil will to the resident each year. Speaking of Colorado, Governor Jared Polis revealed that residents who filed their taxes by June 30 will get their refunds checked from the late August and officials estimate that more than 3 million people will get this relief. Individual taxpayers will get $750 while joint filers will get $1,500 and for the Colorado residents who missed their June 30 deadline will get checks in January 2023 if they file an extension by October 17. Speaking of Chicago, well Chicago residents are getting monthly gas cards worth up to $150 for months and under this new scheme, around 50,000 prepaid gas cards are expected to be issued in total and applicants were required to have an income at or below 100% of the city's median income to be eligible for this card. And speaking of Connecticut, around 15,000 households in Connecticut are set to receive a relief payment in line with kids returning to the classroom and families are set to receive an average $257.87 for child and state received $7 million in cash from federal government as a result of America Rescue Plan Act and a sweeping relief package that was signed into the law by President Joe Biden in 2021. And speaking of the Delaware, well in April, Delaware lawmakers agreed to send $300 into any residents filed a tax return in the state in 2020 or 2021. The first round of checks were sent out in May but up to 150,000 Delaware residents may still be waiting on the $300 rebate as told by Finance Secretary Rick Ginsburger. Well, it would mean that nearly 20% of the taxpayers who qualified for this rebate have not yet received it. In response, Ginsburger said, we are working with the numerous other state agencies to identify other people in the state where we have social security number information and cross-reference that against the people we have already sent checks to. And state's website said that relief package was designed to help residents at the fuel pump and in the grocery store. Speaking of the Florida, around 60,000 eligible residents should be automatically sent a payment worth up to $450 and this payment is part of a program called Hope Florida, a pathway to prosperity. This one-time payment can be used for anything from buying diapers to fueling at pump. And speaking of Georgia, residents in Georgia may receive one-time rebate worth up to $500. This refund is started going out in May and more than 90% of the taxpayers have received their money. But according to the officials, they have revealed that more payments are going to be sent out by the end of this August. If you are married or filed with your spouse, you can expect $500 payment. And well, Speaking of Hawaii, thousands of Hawaii residents said to get one-time refund that is tax refund which starts going out at the end of this month and those making less than $100,000 annually will receive $300 rebate while workers who earn between $100k and $200k dollars are in line for $100 rebate. According to the Hawaii's Department of Taxation, these refunds are expected to start going out during the last week of August and those getting the paper checks will need to wait 3 to 4 weeks for the money to arrive. 
Speaking of Idaho, well earlier this year, Idaho approved a bill and this one allocating $350 million for tax rebates. In order to qualify, you must be considered a full-time resident. You must have filed your 2020 or 2021 tax returns. Additionally, full-time Idaho residents must have filed grocery credit refund returns. And these rebates begin going out in the March and will provide $75 or 12% of their 2020 Idaho state tax returns. If you didn't file your tax returns yet, you must do so by December 31st to claim your cash. Speaking of Indiana, well, already millions of Americans in Indiana received first rebate in this May, and these refunds were worth up to $125 per individual, while married couples are getting $250. But as said by the governor Eric Holcomb, he signed a bill into the law that provides extra round of relief, and with the help of this one, single taxpayer will receive $200 of additional payment while joint filers will get $400. This payment should appear in the bank accounts of their residents around on August 24th according to Indiana Department of Revenue. But some taxpayers could receive their checks as early as August 18th if everything goes according to the plan. Speaking of Illinois, Governor J.B. Pritzker revealed that Illinois residents will receive $50 as a part of income tax rebate. Also joint tax filer will receive $100 and families with three dependents can get up to $300. This cash is part of a Illinois family relief plan which approved in April and the payments are expected to be sent out from this September 12th. And speaking of the Maryland, well in this May, low-income residents in the Maryland, they have already received $2,000 worth of assistance help to tackle the water bills. And the scheme is designed to help families whose water bills have been outstanding for 30 days and and the Department of Human Services Secretary said that no family or child should go without access to water because of challenges of paying bills. And speaking of the Maine, Maine has been sending out rebate checks worth up to $850 per individual and $1,700 for average family. State has distributed majority of payments in this July and June. However, some of the rebates will take some time to hit the mailboxes. As said by the Governor Janet Mills, office he said that checks will be continued to go out on rolling basis through the end of this 2020 for the single taxpayer earning $100,000. This one is the income threshold. In Minnesota, frontline workers is getting payment worth up to $750 and they can apply for this direct payment until this July 22 and the checks were reserved for those people who had worked on the frontline during the COVID pandemic. As per the officials, they expect around 667,000 people to apply for the payments but according to the reports, at least 1.2 million residents had submitted the application and just the sheer volume of the applicants means the worker could receive a payment close to $400. Speaking of New Mexico, Mexico residents should have received their final state issued relief checks. Single taxpayers are likely to have received $250 while joint filers were in line to receive $500. All payments should have been transferred into the resident's bank account by direct deposit in the first few days of this August. Speaking of New Jersey, New Jersey Division of Taxation revealed that residents in Garden State would be sent middle class tax rebates from July 2nd and these checks are being mailed out to those people who filed 2020 income tax return and are claiming at least one dependent with balance of $1 or more. Maximum rebate resident can receive is $500 and it will take around 6 weeks for all checks to be mailed out and processed as said by the officials. Speaking of Oregon, thousands of residents in Oregon should have received one-time payment worth up to $600 and state government officials said that more than 236,000 people eligible for this one-time checks. First batch of payments are already sent out in this June. Either they are mailed out or deposited via direct deposit. As per official reveal, around 55% of the payments were deposited directly. Speaking of Ronde Iceland, Governor Daniel Mackey said that Ronde Iceland families will be able to receive up to $750 in a child tax rebate. Any Ronde Iceland taxpayer with dependents 18 or or under 18 is eligible for the credit and no application is necessary. Taxpayer who file by August 31st will start receiving the rebates in October.
October and those who are taking advantage of the October 17 extended filing deadline, they will get this rebate started issuing in the December. All rebates will be sent out by checks and there will be no direct deposit. Speaking of South Carolina, millions of South Carolina taxpayers are set to receive income tax rebates worth up to $800 after Governor Henry McMinister signed a $13.8 billion budget into the law. And these payments could arrive by August 17 as per the officials. And speaking of Virginia, single taxpayers in Virginia will get refund of up to $250 after Governor Glenn Youngkin signed this one into the state's budget in a law. Married couples will get a $500 payment while single taxpayers will get $250. In California, at least 20 million taxpayers are set to receive worth between $200 and $1,050. If they earn less than $75,000, for single filers it's $350 and for those who have dependents they can get $700 and the residents earning between $75,000 and $125,000, they'll get $500 with a dependent and while single filers are getting $250. Taxpayers earning over $125K will get $400 if they have kids and $200 if they are individual. Also couples that file their taxes together and earn less than $150K will get $1,050 if they have dependents and $700 if they do not have dependents. And those making between $150,000 and $250,000 will get $750 if they have children and $500 if they are individual. And while couple earning between $250,000 and $500,000 will get $600 with dependents and $400 if they do not have any dependents. While single filers earning over $250,000 and couples who have earnings of $500,000 are not eligible for the payment. And guys, speaking of Massachusetts, Massachusetts, Massachusetts will provide payments to the residents totaling around 7% of their 2021 state tax income payment. Also speaking of Vermont, Vermont is providing families with up to $1,000 tax credits for children age 6 or under. If they are eligible based on income, they can get this one. So there it is guys, these are all the states which are providing this stimulus checks. So well, I hope you found this video helpful. Make sure to hit that like, subscribe to your channel. If you haven't did already, turn on that bell notification to stay updated. And this is Kedar from How To Guys signing out.